everybody, welcome back to the Morpha project. And uh, today, uh, I actually wanted to do the um, bits right over here. So we're going to create another piece of uh, tree right there. And then we're going to add that to our collection to create a fill up for the tree itself. So we want to do this part right here and then, you know, fill it up slowly. Um, so yeah, um, I'm gonna be doing that today, and, uh, let's get started, shall we? Ugh. So, today, I actually finally was able to celebrate the new year, the beginning of the new year with some pie at my, uh, workplace I normally work at, so that's, that's actually quite nice to know. Uh, let's see, ooh... Uh, mm, what the? All right. This is the part of it. Yes, this is the whole damn background. Uh, where do we want this to be? This is the this is the tree that we have, right? Yeah. That's the tree. So we have this tree. We have that tree. And we now need a second tree, so we should definitely remove this because we don't need that anymore uh we don't need this anymore so we're gonna remove that as well wait a minute hmm yes that as well then and remove that as well yeah we don't need that just so we're gonna remove it it's gonna be otherwise taking too much space in and that is the drawing that I wanted it's a drawing I wanted, so I can now see more clear what I need to do. That's good enough. And we can now start fig figuring out where this layer needs to be going. Alright, so this tree part needs to be in the background. So should it be lower then? Yes, it should be. Um, I'm going to put it right here then. Put it into a group. Add it into a group. So the first thing we're going to do is design the damn thing. And then we're going to add some more stuff to it. What? What? The? What? Uh, there is something wrong here. Ah. Well, that's, that's buggy. That's really buggy. I don't like that. Huh? Uh, hold on. Are those dead pixels? No, they're not supposed to be dead pixels, right? Don't tell me I have dead pixels on my screen. So if I remove this, it's gonna be nothing, right? Yeah. All right. Uh, hold on. Um, we have now put it off, and that would fix it, right? Now we don't have any pixelated issues. Yes. All right. We don't want this. We don't want this bad boy to be there. Nope. We just don't want this. Sadly, I cannot afford that one. Because it actually ruins everything that I'm trying to build here. So, no. <sighs> Sometimes software is getting a little bit buggy. Alright, um, we're going to be switching to the pencil. And then we're going to be drawing here. So, 3.6. 
So what I'm going to be doing here is going to be drawing like this. Going to be drawing the uh, tree part right here. Which is going to be like a big mushy bit again, I believe. And then this tree right, this tree part right here. It's going to be entering that. Some lovely bits of like that. And we should definitely increase the size here a bit. Like that. That's good. So the whole idea is that we're having like this kind of effect. So we have this tree part and then we're going to have like another tree part going upwards again. So like this. So we have like multiple. So this is like something like this, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, is that possible? Yes, it is possible. Is that doable? Yes, it is. All right, good. Now we can actually work on it. The main idea is that we're just trying to get figure things out. So what we want to draw here right now is just, you know, the line. Just the line that we needed to draw first. So we're going to draw this line. And we're going to draw from this line right here. Right? Yeah. Then we're going to add some lovely little texture. Alright. Like that, right? And then I can add that to it. So now we actually need to get this up and running like this. And now we do have the whole damn tree. Uh, tree's never supposed to go like that. Tree's supposed to go like this. Um, should we have lowered this down? Probably. So I'm gonna go like this. So we're going to go for this kind of field. We know that there is going to be like things like here. So I need to start drawing that here. Yes, I do need to fill that up first. So the crocodile tooths are going to go like this. And then, you know, we have like this little bit that needs to be drawn as well, but we don't need to draw because the tree trunk is in the way. Um, no, that's actually doable to use. So yeah, we're going to be just doing this, and then, you know, once we're done with this, we can just fill up the whole area, and that's the idea. So the more the more we do, the more we can fill it up, the better it gets. And of course, you know, we're going to draw first at full strength. Really? Really? Oh, my God. Uh, Alright, looks like I need a new tablet. Because I apparently have dead pixels in my tablet, that's not helpful. That's not helpful at all, because if I draw here... Oh, they go away. They go away if I do this. And then they don't go away. And then they do go away. So it's a problem with the, it's a problem with the software then. Yes, it is. Oh, great. 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 That's a... Uh, gonna be a problem for me to worry out later 
I just really, really don't like it. Hopefully they will uh, fix the update. And I need to comment in the forums, like, you know, that I have, to, uh, that I have like, strange pixel problems. Okay. Not gonna be worrying about that today. Today I'm actually trying to fix, well, at least, you know, work towards the goal, which is gonna be doing another part of the tree done by today. Most likely that's not gonna be happening if I'm getting get distracted that much, but, uh, you know, at least I could try. And then tomorrow I will be doing my very best on uh, continue on the drawing a bit. Then in the midday, in the morning, I will do the, I will work on some of the bit of the drawing. And then in the midday, I'm going to be recording the, uh, the editing of the chapter of the Magical Girl story, which I'm working on, you know, the first chapter, which is still not finished fully. And then see if I can implement it into the, uh, into the, uh, the visual novel already. Probably not. Probably need some props to work that in. And then after that, I can then finally start, uh, and then at night time, I will start doing the Morpha project again, you know, doing whatever we are doing right now, but then, you know, further. Ooh. It's good to know that, you know, we're doing our very best here to fix all of this. We know now where everything is leading, so, you know, we can just... Like this. And then like that. Great. It's lovely to use these shark tooths. They're easy to draw, make great leaves. Well, they make great leaves for these kind of trees. I normally regularly use palm trees, so, you know, first time to creating trees, mm, it's not a bad idea. All right, Um. so yeah, hopefully, you know, I will be able to be done by this by August, you know, then the whole thing will be finished, but... Uh, that's project for you. Projects take long times, and I mean like long times. Probably the uh, probably the visual novel is gonna take longer because I need to redesign a lot of create, need to well you know do a lot of experimentation on drawing fa uh, facial uh, facial expressions and people things that you know are very hard for me to do. As you probably already notice. I like the I like the idea of you know drawing humans. Uh, I never ever actually look people in the face normally, which is a very problematic thing when you're trying to recognize like facial expressions because you never look at people. Hmm. That's normally it's very strange to do because you know normally you need to look at people to look and see what they're doing, but you know that's how my brain works. It's like. Oh, just forget it about, just forget about it, man. Just forget about it. There's no need to worry about anything here. And then, you know, the next thing you know, you are you don't even know what the people do, what the facial expression means when people are doing the facial expression. So, yeah. I have to teach myself what the hell the facial expression is and how to recognize the facial expression. It takes a lot of time, mm -hmm. almost like 10 years of learning with lots of fallbacks and lots of experimentation. I'm like, oh, all right, that's what the facial expression means. All right, got it. But, you know, cartoons do help. They actually show you the facial expressions more extreme, so therefore, you know, it should be more easier to realize. Even though, you know, they are quite extreme. Yeah. And that's how you normally show facial expressions anyway. Uh, these two, these things are wrong. These things are wrong placed. Oh boy. 
because we're actually going upwards. We're not going to go downwards, so therefore, you know, those. We need to keep the roundiness in there while maintaining the idea of um, And not all the shark dudes have to be going doing the same. It's most likely just, you know, a realization of like what the hell is going on anyway. I must say, though, texture takes a long time. I don't mind, but it does take a long time. And eventually it will pay off. It just takes so damn long. <laughs> that means that these things are fully wrong, wrongfully placed because of how the drawing works. The idea is that we're going upwards, so therefore, you know, we should definitely work to the what's that. That means that we need to draw here now. Oh boy. Yep. There goes my head. Oh my nimba 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 nimba. Focus please. Focus please head. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So my head has a little bit of an issue with, you know, realizing that I have been working a little bit too much at work. Oh well. You know, I had an excited day. Read a manual. Got in there. Like, got 10 pages further. So that's good. Of 1,500 pages, I got 10 pages further. That's good. I came to the realization where I needed to look for the information I needed in the manual, so that's good. So actually, technically I don't need the manual, but I just need the, the, the one pages that are telling me what the hell I need to do when I need to do one thing. So that's good. And uh, I have been doing a lot of, you know... It has been an excited day, and ugh, my head is not taking it lightly. Which is a dick move. I would have recom I would have recommended that the hat would be a little bit less overstressed. Well, it's not stressful. It's just you know over over triggered, no over impulsed, over impulsed. Yeah, there you go, over impulsed. It's not stress. It's not like very painful or anything else like that. But. It's just that the head is not tired of thinking or doing anything else. Which means that, you know, it's a dick move when I try to do my drawings and I have like every, every, I have like a full day to just do the drawings and then, you know, the head is like, Oh, don't mind me, just shutting you down right now. Ho, 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 ho. It's, a, it's a very nasty bit of work. But, f looking on the bright side, I think we're doing an excellent job here. We're just finishing off the stuff that we needed to draw in the first place. Bit of, you know, getting a bit of all these shark dudes up and running. Drawing them lightly, drawing them hardly. It creates variety in the drawing, therefore, you know, creates more, more drawing. And then that should fix the bits that we have have left yes uh, all right um so yeah i must say though it's it's all fine and handy dandy i am okay with this uh so this needs to be fixed this spot needs to be round yeah, there you go and now we can go continue on our way on fixing this damn tree Part. So what I'm doing here is creating a tree part which overlaps 
uh, which overlap, which is going to overlap this part, but not this part. So it's going to be overlapping this part. Therefore, it's going to create this nice feeling of, uh, how do you say, inclusion of trees. Now, it's going to be giving more immersion to the tree or more filament, fill, yes. It fills up the tree more with the leaves, and therefore, you know, the more we fill up the tree with leaves, the more leafy it becomes, therefore it becomes more tree-like, and therefore, you know, it becomes a real-looking fucking tree. Yeah. Blech. Theories. Ugh. Well, it's not actually a theory, it's just, you know, it's just a fact. If you draw more leaves on a tree, it turns more into a tree because, you know, it has more leaves on it. The only downside is that leaves look fucking ugly on trees when you draw them, and therefore, you know, you should definitely work a way into creating a texture that is making it look possible that they are tree leaves, but make it in such a way that the tree leaves are not going to be the main priority of the tree that causes the player to have the attention. Is I probably have already filled that one, but the main idea is that you need to focus on the tree, uh, tree bark instead of the tree. So you have the silhouette of the tree, which then represents the tree. Therefore, your brain thinks it's a tree. Ah, there you go. And that is the main thing. All right. Now we're gonna cancel this one out. Yes, we're gonna cancel this one out and. We're having again a lovely little blast with these bits of dots, and they're getting everywhere. Mm. Oh my god, stop it, please. If you cannot handle this, my friend, why are you here? Alright, um, I'm going to load this thing back in, and see if it is just the thing I think it's going to be. All right, hold on. So what we're going to do is put this out. And then if we now draw on this, there's going to be nothing, right? Yes, because there is no overlapping piece of garbage. So it is, it has to do with the blurs, the overlapping blurs, which causes all of this to happen. Son of a bitch! Alright. That's a dick move. That's a dick move, my friend. That's a, such a dick move. Alright, well. Anyway, we're gonna be doing the coloring now, and that would be decent enough for now. So, yeah, um. I'm gonna need to report that, so I'm gonna be putting down the. I'm gonna put down the filters so that we can get everything out of. No filters today, my friend. Sorry, no filters. No filters. Um... So now we shut down the filters. This should fix a lot of things here. So if we fix the, if we remove the filters, this should fix all of it, or well, at least you know fix. All of the problems that I or that we have right now. And we still have some filters that we are not triggering. Where? I don't see it. That's the main problem. Uh, there you go. So now removing the filters actually reveals the main problem. Uh, who would have thought? Who would have thought that the filters would have caused all of this shenanigans to trigger anyway? Not me. Absolutely not me. So now you can see all of this happening. There you go. Now it's all blank. Now it's all blanky blue. With no filters and you can see the tree. With no depth. Which is horrible. You need depth. Um, Alright, well, first things first, we're going to collect the color that we need. First, we need a color. We need, like, this kind of color. Eh, no. 
There you go. This is the color we need, and this color needs to be drawn in. Uh, yes, with that. And you can already see how this is going to be ending up, so that's nice. All right. So now we have that, we can now add the bits in that we need. I'm just going to be removing the bits that we don't need. Interesting that actually, you know, filters actually can cause more problems than they fix. That means technically I should have done, uh, technically I should merge all the filters together. Although that's going to be probably a pretty hard thing to do. Or at least, you know, it's going to be causing a lot of trouble. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to be doing that as last bit. Oh, I'm going to do it right after I'm done with doing this. Then fix it, and then it should be fine. But it's a real shame that, you know, filters are not fully functional as they should be. It's a real shame because I would have, li I would have loved to have those filters to be properly done. All right. And then we're going to go now do the coloring bit. So we should definitely switch to the other move. And then that should fix the parts that we need. So first things first, we're going to do for a darker approach. We're going to put this on 75, like so. Yeah. Uh, nope. No, thank you. Oh, that's some garbage. I need more. No. So we fix. Uh, that's good enough. We should go for something else at the top. Mm. 
and then go down again on the parts where it needs to be darker, like so. And now we should definitely get the blend tool in now, and then we can fix all of this. good enough all right uh now we have done that we can now add a filter to it which is of course not fully done but it's a filter nonetheless and now we need to go for the eraser tool and we're gonna put it on 70 uh, like so Yeah, that's good enough. I like that. All right. Now putting that off, and it should be working, right? Yes. All right. Uh, how much time do we have left? Thirty, uh, twenty minutes. All right. Now I'm going to be selecting all the filters again, and then uh, this should fix it. Right. If I now put all the filters back, it is fixed. All right, so what do filters do? Filters cause a lot of trouble, but if you do it correctly, they don't. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. Yes, say the least interesting. It's definitely interesting to see that filters can cause trouble, but also not cause trouble if you do it correctly. Hmm. Ah, yes. And then this needs to be going like this. This needs to go like this. Yes, alright. It is uh, such a mess. It's a good mess, but it's really a messy one. So if we now add the filter of this one. This one is unnecessary. All right. Whew. Think, 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 think about this. So do I want, what I now have is, uh, where is it? This one, right? Yeah. What I now have is this. So what I could do is move this up a bit. I could move this up a bit. Put it right there. So if I remove this and then put that there, why is this not moved? That's my biggest question. 
could put it there. So now, I need to move this one. All right. So what I need here is, uh, let's see, I want this to be round. So I need this, God damn it. So I want this to be round, right? Yes, I want this to be round, around such a way that this is. But I also need to put this into perspective. This needs to be here. It's gonna be like a big tree part right here. It's gonna be a big tree part right here. So there's gonna be a big tree part right here that needs to be drawn in. Why is that? Because of the um, tree value here. So it should be like this and go up, up, down. It means that I need to move this bit upwards. It needs to be this bit it needs to be going a little bit more up so I can put this into a more perspective idea. Do I have to do that? Uh, let's see. Yes, or I can put this like so. Well, technically this needs to be going like so. If that is the case, I cannot move this. And then this should be enough, right? Ooh. And this should be enough. Because technically this is going to be drawn over there into that direction. Yeah, actually, that's a good idea. All right. Uh, do I want to continue, even though my head is a little bit too much of a spin, a spin, a spinny boy right now? No. I need to take a rest then. All right. Fine. Fine. The head has spoken. Jeez. I really hate to do this though. Um. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I hope you all have enjoyed for today. Um, thanks all for watching, and I'm happy that I solved my damn problem with the pixels. So, um, I hope I'll see you all next time. Until then, I want to wish you all, all a lovely day. And what the hell happened here? And thanks all for watching, and, and I hope I'll see you all, all until the next time. Until then, bye!